she just got out, so it's good. good time. Okay, so Karen, tell me about your experience with My First Organics. Well, I loved it, I especially since I'm such a literature-based teacher. I love that you guys had the book that really was so well written, really tied in realistic, real-world facts, and really got the kids hooked in to what we were going to be doing. So that's the first thing that I love about it. Um, I love that it's so convenient and user-friendly as a teacher. You know, normally I'm having to go everywhere to try and gather bits and pieces and supplies for my lessons, and you guys just have it such so beautifully packaged. You know, every, I have the greenhouses and the little peat pots and the seeds and the soil and everything I need is in there and the sticks, everything. And um, and what's so great is that I can keep the greenhouses and just reorder the stuff that I need, and it can get sent right to me, and I don't have to go hunt it down. So I just love the whole way, the thinking behind it. I love it all. It's great. And how did the kids react to it? They loved it. They were so, I mean, the greenhouses, because we never done any kind of planting with the greenhouses, that sucked them right in right away. They loved the book. They loved the illustrations. Um, they, you know, anything that's hands-on is just so wonderful for them to do. And so they just were automatically super sucked in and engaged because of the nature of the materials. Why do you think lessons like these are important? Um, well, I think lessons like these are important because it's, it's the future and we're trying to, part of our job as a teacher or teachers, parents at home and teachers at school is to um, grow citizens that can help the earth, help the world and make it a better place to be. And the way that we're going with um, having to transport things from far and, you know, all the chemicals and processed everything, it's not good for people, it's not good for the earth. So I really like that this focuses the kids back in on grow it yourself, keep it local, cut down on transportation, help the earth. I mean, all of those are really good life lessons that I'm trying to convey to my students as well. So I think um, the book especially really sets that up beautifully for, you know, giving that information to the kids and, you know, ties in with just building good citizens. And do you think order-based learning is important, um, not just academically, but in teaching kids about nutrition? Definitely. You know, our school lunches are atrocious and you don't see anything fresh in them at all. Rarely. It's a rarity. Every once in a blue moon. But I think, you know, just like the book said, if the kids grow it, if they have an active role in producing it, then they just get so excited about it. They want to taste it. They can't wait. Um, and so, you know, they were already like, oh, I can't wait till we have peas, you know, you know actually growing from the plants. So um, I think it's really important for them to actually see it grown, see where it comes from, and taste it and how good it is when you grow it yourself.